body filler that I had purchased. It's the 3M Platinum version, and I bought a bunch of these just like sp scrapers, spreaders, and it comes with the hardener, but the part's kind of all laid out. You kind of saw, and hopefully in the time lapse, I busted off this corner again, so I had to re-add some resin to this bottom side, and I think it'll hold now. So, I'm going to get the filler spread and hopefully get this thing looking good, and then on the bottom air dam scoop which I don't know if I'm gonna run it yet or not but I'm gonna do it anyways uh, there's a scrape right there that needs filled and then obviously this part uh, just stay a little bit there and then try to smooth out the backside I'm gonna try to do my best to fill the inside of this air box too just to make it look a little bit better than fiberglass but anyways that's that
everything in 400. Body work's all complete. Front fender, front windscreen, rear fender, and the bottom fairing. And I also did the oil cooler. It's like a, the, I don't know what you want to call it, ram air thing. It had a couple scuffs on it and scrapes. And my question for you guys would be, if anyone's actually watching this, do you think I should paint match this to the airbox cover, or should I just spray it in trim black? I think, I'm thinking black just because it'll go better, like contrasting with the rest of the bike. But over here is the paint that I've purchased. I got Nason Full Pox, and that's going to basically be my primer. And I got the Chromax. This is the color. Um, I don't know if you guys can actually read that. Let's see if anyone can decipher what that's supposed to mean. You can kind of see a little bit like what it looks like. But anyways, this is going to be mixed one for one. And actually, it's kind of cool. So if you've never done it like me, it's literally on the side of it. So this is one for one with the base maker. And same with this as well. The full box is also one for one there. And then over here is the clear coat. And let's see, it should say it on here too. There we are, it's four to one. So this will be four to one with the activator reducer. And that's basically it. I hope you guys are enjoying this little Buell restoration. Um, next up is paint once we get some nicer weather. Here in the Midwest, it's just been rainy and crappy and cold. So until it warms up, I'm not going to be shooting it because I think it's just going to not work in my favor. But anyway, until next time.